Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, June 9th, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, there has not been a lot of movement in the foreign exchange market today, or at least uh, five currency pairs that we will look at. There has been little or no changes at all. So, First of all, we did break below the 20 exponential moving average and then rallied. So a fairly bullish shine for this currency pair. Although uh, technically the they are still fairly bearish. You can see the MACD is still bearish. The RSI is flat, CCI is bearish, and the stochastic is bullish at this current stage. We are right at the middle of the bullish band. We basically broke down towards the bottom of the bullish band, roughly 1412, and then rallied from there. At this point, it looks like we're going to go for another run at these uh, previous highs here, which we have tested several times in the last uh, three weeks. And uh, to the downside, we can see that the uh, 20 exponential 40 or the 50 here will offer quite a lot of support. So let's look at the US dollar Japanese yen. So we're up 0.07%, so no, nothing really has happened here either. We did break down towards the 40 exponential down here at 109, 258, and then we rallied. So we're right above the 20 exponential, above the middle of the Bollinger Band. So um, that's a fairly bullish shine. However, if you look at technical indicators, the momentum is still to the downside. You can see the MACD has crossed the signal line, indicating bullish momentum, bearish momentum, sorry. The RSI is flat, CCI is flat, and stochastic is bearish as well. If we were to break below the 50 moving average, probably the 200 moving average down here will most likely be as far as this will go. This is also where we hit bottom only a few weeks ago. So let's look at the euro US dollar. Same thing here, only down minus 0.03%. Did break below the 20 exponential, rallied, and then we just, well, ended up at the same place where we started. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that MACD is bearish, the RSI is flat, the CCI is bearish, and the stochastic is crossing the signal line here, becoming bullish. We're right underneath the middle of the bullish band, so if we were to break above here, then we could head towards the 1225. Momentum at this current stage is still kind of to the upside. We're still in an uptrend since we hit the bottom here. We have been trading quite sideways uh, for the last two, three weeks, uh, but uh, it's probably only a matter of time before we test these uh, upper resistant levels and break out from this. So the line from 12.25 and also one here at 12.35. So let's look at the Aussie US dollar. As you can see, we're also down minus 0.08%. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is about to cross the signal line. That is fairly bullish. But the RSI is flat, the CCI is kind of flat, and the stochastic is also just above the signal line, but is turning around at this current stage. We're right in the middle here of the bullish band, and um, well, there's nothing really uh, anything good to be said here because uh, nothing is really happening here. So we did have this massive movement um, last week, but since then, we have been just stuck at the 50 moving average and the 20 and 100 moving average. All of them are basically together here. So until we basically break towards the upside or break to the downside, it's just a waiting game. So let's look at the US dollar and the Canadian dollar. And as you can see, we have rallied a bit. We're up 0.20% and we're heading towards the, we have crossed above the 20 exponential, heading towards the 40 and the probably also the 50. So we did stay at the support level for quite some time as we also have tested um, the resistance level here for quite some time before we broke down and kind of expect the same thing to happen here. We did not manage to break third down and now we're going back towards the resistance line which will roughly be around here. So up towards the 50 moving average and the resistance line and then continue going lower. That's how this has been behaving for more than a year now. We were in a channel here, broke out again in the channel, and now we're just heading back towards the top of the channel. It could be what is happening here. If we get rejected at the, at the 20 and the 40, then we could head back towards the very lows. So if you look at technical indicators, they do um, 
indicate that we are going to go higher. Momentum is definitely to the upside due to the fact that all of these indicators are bullish at this point. We are reaching the top of the bullish band, so we could see a pullback when we get towards roughly roughly 12, 12, uh, 35. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. Good luck and thank you very much.